Okay, welcome to video two. Um, got uh, Vera up and loaded, and it's constantly uh, finding a uh, particular virus over and over again that it can't uh, delete or do anything with. Um, so it's just, I have it set to uh, quarantine right now, or actually deny, I think. But anyway, I'll go into that really quick. If we look at the guard, look at scan. Uh, action for concerning files that are found uh, in the real-time scanner. We're gonna quarantine. We're gonna go ahead and quarantine them. Uh, we're gonna copy them to the quarantine. We're gonna try to repair them, and then we're gonna overwrite and delete them if we can't. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a few more options in here, uh, like the web guard. Make sure all that's turned on. Make sure our extended threat categories are all set up. And I'll go ahead and pause the video while this is uh, up on the screen here. I'll be right back. Yeah! It's alright. Here. Sorry about that. I had to help somebody, somebody with something. All right. Um, the thing that kind of sucks about Avira is you're pretty much forced to do a safe mode scan if anything is locked. To my knowledge, I really haven't seen it um, take care of anything upon reboot. You know, like some uh, some applications create a list of what to delete at at boot. I don't see anything like that with Avira, but uh, also, I don't think I updated, so let me go ahead and do my update. Uh, if you could hear my speaker, you'll hear a, you would hear a beeping going off every single second. And that is a uh, Trojan that it's finding over and over and over again that it cannot delete. So I'm going to set up uh, my manual scanner because we're about ready to do a scan here. And then we'll do a reboot and see what we have left. We're going to search for rootkits before we scan. We're going to scan all files. Actions for concerning files. We're just going to go ahead and quarantine them. And we're also going to scan archives as well. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of um, malware hides out in Java archives. And we have our uh, heretics turned on high, so we're all ready to do a manual scan here. I just want to make sure that um, we're doing an update and we get that update. So while it's uh, checking for an update, I'll pause the video. Be right back. All right, well, we got our update done. And I'm gonna go ahead and run a full scan. So, let's see. It says, last complete scan uh, performed, never. We'll scan the system now. And the scanner is off and running. So typically, uh, if we see any warnings, that means it uh, couldn't get rid of the file. Uh, and that usually means we have to uh, do a reboot into safe mode and, and scan from safe mode. Uh, in safe mode, it's, it's usually very, very effective. So 
Not too big of a deal there, but just so you guys know. A lot of people use uh, Vera. I'm sure you guys already know, those of you guys who are using it. So Anyway, uh, I know this is going to take a long time, so I'm going to run out and grab some Chinese, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, later as soon as this is done. Be right back. Well, at least to you guys. Okay, uh, back after that long scan there, uh, and uh, looks like we found 236 pieces of malware that were cleaned, and 14 that could not be cleaned. So what I'm going to do now is reboot into safe mode and do a full scan in safe mode. Be right back. Okay, I'm in safe mode, and I'm going to go ahead and initiate a full scan. I'm just going to right click on my hard drive and say scan selected files with antivir. And uh, it's starting up the scan right now. And when we're in safe mode, um, it's usually able to delete almost anything or quarantine it. Uh, so we go ahead and let that run and let's see what it comes up with. Be right back. Okay, in the safe mode scan. Just took a few minutes here. It detected one item, and that was uh, Trojan Q -host .nl. Um, That was the one it couldn't delete in real time. So if I take a look at my log, let's see. It says Trojan uh, Trojan Q -host .nl was moved to uh, the quarantine as that file. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot now. And once I reboot, there should be not much left to do. All we're going to do is kind of test out our internet connection, um, test out our task manager, make sure that's working, um, and that's that's really about it. Just make sure the PC kind of functions as normal as possible. Be right back. Well, this is kind of troubling. <laughs> I did two full scans with uh, Antivir Premium. And I have a lot of adware uh, and rogue type stuff still starting up. Uh, this fake Windows Security Center, Antivirus 2009 is still on here. It did get rid of some things, but uh, quite a bit still left on here. Let's go ahead and open up uh, Vera take a look at that configuration one more time alright on the guard which should detect this uh, we're gonna go ahead and quarantine anything uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to repair it and then overwrite and delete Pretty sure the web guard's already set. Yeah, I want to deny him web guard. General. All those are selected. The full scan should have detected it in safe mode and got rid of it. We were scanning everything basically uh, archives and files. Uh, we're quarantining everything on scan. If I open up uh, my hard drive and kind of browse to the antivirus 2009 folder, if I can see it, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't detect it as a rogue. Hmm. Hang on one second. Let me check my time. All right. Well, I'm going to start video three, and that'll be testing our internet connection. I'll be right back. 